Okay, team. So now we're going to go into a scenario, and this is building off of a bunch of videos that we've already done. One was looking at uh, fluency and oral reading fluency and looking at uh, analyzing a student's reading of words in isolation, and then looking at their oral reading fluency. Another one was looking at their oral reading fluency, where we look at um, them reading words in context. So these are two different types of assessments that you would have in any type of um, um, oral reading fluency assessment. There would always be a component if you're testing oral reading fluency where you'd have them read words in isolation and read uh, words in context in a story. Okay, so now we're familiar with those two different ways of assessing oral reading fluency. I want you to read this question. I want you to take two minutes and I want you to read it. Pause me, and then when you're done, I just unpause and we'll begin. Okay, uh, pause me now. Go. Okay, unpause. Okay, this question has three parts. So sometimes they 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 a lot of times you're going to see these three parts, and sometimes they they can't keep it together, <laughs> and they go over the three parts, but. This sort of has almost like a, a, a beginning, a middle, and an end. Um, I'll just write down one, two, three. So this is this is probably the best structured question. Beginning, middle, and end, and then they and then you do it, right? A lot of times the questions can get too long, too wordy. But let's just read this over. It says here it starts, the beginning. A second grade teacher. Again, let's circle the word second grade. Second grade. Could be fluency, could be a lot of things in second grade, but but fluency could be is definitely one of them. A second grade teacher is working with a small group of students to improve their oral reading fluency. Aha! It is. <laughs> it's a second grade fluency question. That's the beginning. So what's this about? Well, you looked at the beginning. This is a second grade fluency question. Okay, second part. As part of lesson planning, the teacher analyzes the student's oral reading errors and plans instruction to address phonics knowledge and skills not yet mastered. Okay, this makes sense, right? So they're going to be analyzing students' oral reading errors and plan instruction. So where would they be analyzing this? Well, they will look at the, when they're looking at a student's oral reading errors, these are errors that they've observed in assessments, maybe where you have them read words in isolation and read words in a text. And based off of these errors that you spot, you're like, hmm, this student here has to be taught, you know, the IGH trigraph phonics pattern. Or this student here, just uh, if you've watched these other videos, you would have saw that we were like, hmm, they need to ha need help with this diagraph. They need help, they need help with this constant diagraph and this vowel uh, diagraph and this vowel diagraph, right? So we're spotting errors. It would make sense that based off of our analysis of these uh, of these in these assessments, we would plan instruction, yep, to address the phonics knowledge and skills not yet mastered. Yes, makes sense. The teacher's actions are likely to benefit the student's reading fluency. How how is this going to help them? So, team, when you fix these errors in phonics, and the student gets better, and 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 what what will happen? Well, they will make less mistakes, right? Met less errors. And, and what aspect of fluency will go up? So we think of fluency is made up of speed, accuracy, expression, automaticity. Okay. But what is one aspect that goes up? Let's see. Um, I think if you fix these things, accuracy goes up automatically, right? Okay. So let's, let's see here. It says A. Um, if you fix these things, um, how's it going it, to, it's going to likely to benefit the student's reading fluency most directly by what? Encouraging the student to slow down and decode words letter by letter? Letter by letter, that's the opposite of what we want to do, right? A prerequisite of fluent oral reading? That's, that's, abs that's like, that is not what we want, right? For fluent reading. Yes, cross that one off. We do not, we do not want to encourage them to read letter by letter. So cross a big red flag, red flag, bow on the field, right? Okay, how about this one right here? Focusing the student on increasing their reading rate, a key component of fluency. So, so reading rate, right? 
So sometimes going fast does not build up. So we always, we say speed, accuracy, and expression. Speed, accuracy, and expression, right? And accuracy and automaticity go hand in hand. So, so yes, it would potentially improve speed, but that's not the focus in this activity. We're fixing things, okay? We don't want the student to focus on speed because sometimes when a student focuses on speed going faster, what happens is they, they, they mess up on accuracy and they lose expression, right? So no, that's not it, okay? Uh, how about uh, C, uh, promoting the student's recall of a large number of grade level uh, words by sight, a prerequisite of fluent, fluent oral reading. Again, that is important, building up their sight word vocabulary. But this activity here of fixing these things that we're spotting in phonics isn't going to help with, I mean, that is not, that is not necessarily um, a high frequency thing. If you do this, and you fix these phonics patterns, eventually words like good and champ, right? And here will become part of their high frequency vocabulary. But, but that's not directly connected to this activity. What are you trying to do? By fixing these things, it's gonna do what? It's going to directly what? Directly, immediately, right away, improve the student's reading accuracy. Doesn't that make sense, team? By fixing these mistakes, they're going, they're going to make less mistakes. And in return, less mistakes. These are all errors. You fix them, you fix it, you're going to make less errors. Accuracy will go up. It's a good question, team. Try it. Try it on your own. Make sure you can get to B. Cross out the others, okay? Um, another great question. This is the answer is B. It's from this test. You get to think about why it's accuracy. How does fixing these things improve accuracy? There's lots of things in fluency we do to build uh, build fluency. Accuracy is one of them. And when you do these assessments and you spot these errors, right? Okay, when you're doing assessments and you spot errors, you're trying to fix the errors because you know if you can fix the errors that you're able to fix accuracy and that's gonna be one component of, of fluency that's gonna help them. Okay, all right, let's keep going. And the answer here is B again. Let's keep going to the next question, okay? Let's keep going.